top 5 tips from world number 1. Hey guys and welcome back for another video. Today we are going to talk about it. top 5 tips previous world number 1 always follow. Jesper is a Danish FBL manager. He became world number 1 in his debut season. He became world number 1 in game week 21 and continued as world number 1 for 4 game week successively. Now he is still in a very advanced position and I hope he can win FBL title for this season. Tip number 1 is to have your own template and your backbone get your template around 8 players that you need them as a long term backs you won't make any changes or transfer all of these players until you make your own wild card or till the end of the season so 8 players and don't change them make your transfer on the rest of the team but you keep your backbone intact he already did this I will show you how he's applied this point he has a backbone of Erling Haaland, Harry Kane and midfield he loves Martinelli and only him most of the season regarding the back line he applies this on Trebier, Gabriel and Char and Ward as his budget goalkeeper he also added that you should follow and listen to FBL content creators but not too much but not too much but not too much no 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 watch me till the end of the video tip number two is about your bench your bench should be players that actually play you shouldn't get players cheap for the sake of saving the budget but it will affect your performance later in the season it will help you navigate through successive double and blank game weeks i think your squad dips will help you improve your performance and improve your scores to help you in case of to avoid any surprise that player is injured because is rotated even if your players are all without any surprise will help you get better points and better scores by rotating between your players depending on the best fixtures to target oh what a cheap players get in my bench <coughs> tip number three don't take hits unless it's necessary yes he believes that a hit should be taken for long term planning and rarely for a single game week if you took if you want to take a hit it should be for long term planning or for a double or plan game week do not take a hit for a single game week bunt never personally when i take a hit i calculate the points that i expect to get from this player and from the player that i will sell it won't be for one only one game week would be three or four game weeks and look and estimate the difference is it worth taking a hit or not so long term planning or double playing game weeks oh let's get Lerma for a minus 50 <coughs> this is the current team he has a triple up from Liverpool, Man City and Brighton in addition to Cho, Luke Cho and Rashford he believes in Mac Allister he got him ahead of Marsh. In addition, he believes in player like Gerlich. It's incredible value for this price. This is his current team. He have very good defense. In addition to Isaac and Trebier on the bench. Good team and really excited. Some exciting bit like Mac Allister, Gerlich, and definitely Musala. Tip number four is about your ships. He believes that chips is uh, one of the best things to improve your rank can boost your rank by the proper use of your chips so carefully you should use your ships personally i put some general guidelines and some tips regarding the 
how to activate and when to activate your chips i think the first wild card the earlier activating it the better yes but activate it in game week eight and helped him a lot and improved, improved his performance he usually the second wild card should be activated just before bench boosting bench boosting should be in the biggest double game week of the season get four players with double game week fixtures it will be a huge and expecting more than 20 or 25 points from these four players free hitting should be in blind game week or double game week not i would not prefer it in a single game week double game week or blank game week depending on your team and your chip strategy some of us activate it in blank game week 32 as of mine and they get a score of 92 some activate in double game week 34 you can choose your strategy which is team dependent triple captain should be in a double game week always a double game week or can activate it in game week 38 which is a high score always is the highest scoring game week and expecting many goals from many players that game week tip number five is to use underlying stats to predict a player when he is going to go for a good period don't blindly follow the point and don't blindly follow the stats mix of stats points and always eye test that will help you to go ahead of the curve with players like as i did with jota in game week 32 i got him and was my captain helped me and got 26 points from him jesper already did this strategy with almiron got him in game week 5 he also got maris for his two double game weeks 20 and 23 and he got two double digit holds from maris he also got rashford and De bruno double up from manchester united since world cup and it was a differential to own bruno alongside rashford for this period he also added that you should follow and listen to fbl content creators but not too much but not too much but not too much no 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 watch me till the end of the video not too much but he wanted to say that you should listen but not too much you should make your own decisions i highly recommend listening to good fbl managers know more about their tips and best players to target i already talked with jesper before and you can know and more about him for this video thanks guys for watching can you drop a like and subscribe if you find it helpful